Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are living in exciting moments as Starship prepares for its next flight. Especially in Texas, this anticipation is more intense than ever. In the past, the Texas government has fully supported SpaceX. But now, as SpaceX faces challenges from the FAA again, state legislators have spoken out, urging the agency to ease its regulations. Could this be the key to unlocking opportunities for the fifth flight and future missions? Let's explore together in today's video. Thank you for joining us during this delay, as Starship has been forced to halt operations due to FAA regulations. Opposition is growing, and it's not limited to criticisms from the space community or the aerospace industry. Many members of Congress have also expressed disagreement with how the FAA is handling this situation. A notable recent development is that a congressman from the House Foreign Affairs Committee sent a letter to FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker, urging him to expedite the environmental review process for SpaceX's activities in Texas. After this letter was made public, it garnered significant attention. Elon Musk immediately responded to two tweets related to Congressman Self's letter, expressing his appreciation and calling it great. We also feel relieved to know that SpaceX continues to receive strong support. Many media outlets have emphasized that allegations of SpaceX causing environmental pollution are unfounded, especially when compared to other launch service providers who often dispose of rockets along with toxic fuel into the ocean. Meanwhile, SpaceX, after over a decade, remains the pioneer in developing a superior reuse system than any competitor, even global superpowers. Currently, SpaceX has become one of the most influential companies in the world, playing a crucial role in maintaining the United States' leading position in the space race. In his letter, Congressman Self emphasized, our nation must remain committed to leading the responsible and constructive use of space through an innovative commercial industry. The United States' leadership in this area depends on a flexible regulatory system that encourages and facilitates rapid innovation. In reality, if the United States wants to maintain its top position, the regulatory system must keep pace with the industry's rapid development. However, the FAA's restrictive stance on the Starship launch process has created significant barriers to SpaceX's ambitious plans. Although the company has been ready for multiple launches, including the highly anticipated fifth flight, the environmental testing requirements and FAA regulations have caused considerable delays. Current delays not only affect SpaceX's immediate launch schedule, but also threaten the company's long-term goals, such as increasing the annual launch frequency from Starbase Texas. This is crucial for advancing the Starship program, as well as developing the U.S. space industry. We cannot control or limit our competitors. What we can do is innovate better than them. China is making significant strides in its space program, and as we can see, they are closely monitoring every move of SpaceX. They do this to replicate and apply the innovations that SpaceX has pioneered in order to maintain the United States leadership on the international stage. This risk is growing as many companies in China adopt vertical landing technology to catch up with reuse technology. In response, Congressman Keith Self has proposed increasing the number of Starship launches from Starbase from five to 25 times a year. This would not only help develop heavy lift technology, but also improve global mobility and logistics. This is a groundbreaking move that could change the calculations of regional competitors in the Indo-Pacific, while also supporting NASA's Artemis program in returning astronauts to the moon before China. Congressman Self has also criticized the FAA for the delays, emphasizing that bureaucratic processes are undermining the innovation capacity of the U.S. space industry. He is frustrated to see the FAA influenced by unfounded concerns from the media, even though the agency's own environmental assessments indicate that increasing SpaceX's launch frequency would not harm the environment. This frustration reflects not only concerns about China, but also about global competition. He argues that if the United States wants to maintain its leading position, the FAA needs to simplify procedures and allow SpaceX to fully realize its potential. Finally, the newly elected mayor of Brownsville, John Cowan, has also supported SpaceX as a reliable neighbor, affirming that he has always maintained open communication channels and effective collaborative relationships with the company. Representative Cohen shared the community's positive sentiment towards SpaceX, emphasizing the desire to increase the number of Starship launches each year. Residents in the area are also very pleased with the development of the LNG industry. The support from Texas's top officials for SpaceX and Elon Musk is not coincidental. 
They clearly understand that the company's presence will make the state stronger and more prosperous. SpaceX has become a savior for Texas, bringing about a significant transformation for the state. In 2013, Brownsville, Cameron County, Texas, was considered the poorest city in the United States. However, since SpaceX's arrival, the situation has changed dramatically. According to Cohen, Brownsville now leads the nation in economic growth. Investments in the Brownsville port and a series of multi-billion dollar projects, including the $3 billion that SpaceX has invested in Starbase near Boca Chica Beach, have enhanced the region's economic status. A 2023 economic impact study indicated that SpaceX has injected $430 million into Cameron County, including wages, construction, and infrastructure improvements. Former Brownsville Mayor Trey Mendez stated that the company contributed nearly $1 billion to the county's total economic output in 2022, while also creating thousands of jobs. SpaceX is now the largest employer in the region, with 1,600 employees, 71% of whom are locals from the Rio Grande Valley. Before SpaceX's arrival, Texas already had several major universities that trained a skilled workforce. However, many students had to leave their hometowns to seek opportunities elsewhere. SpaceX has created new job opportunities, helping retain talent locally. On March 30th, 2021, Elon Musk tweeted encouraging residents to consider moving to Starbase or the Brownsville area. He also announced that SpaceX had donated $20 million to schools in Cameron County, a significant contribution that helps improve the education system and create a better learning environment for the children there. Improving conditions for educational institutions is essential for training a high-quality workforce, individuals who can return and contribute to SpaceX or any other company in Texas. SpaceX is not just a large company, it also offers high wages, enhancing the lives of Texas residents. This not only benefits SpaceX employees, but also promotes better compensation for workers at other local businesses. According to an employee at a local manufacturing company, SpaceX's high salaries have prompted many local businesses to adjust their employee pay. Moreover, tourism in the area has seen a significant increase. SpaceX enthusiasts frequently visit to witness Starship activities. It is estimated that around 15,000 tourists visit Boca Chica Beach each month just to watch SpaceX rocket launches. This has spurred the development of many restaurants, hotels, and other services to cater to this large influx of tourists. As the frequency of Starship launches increases in the coming year, the number of visitors is expected to rise, providing significant revenue for both local residents and the Texas government. This development is extremely important for a state like Texas. Texas agencies have significantly supported SpaceX in developing the Starship program. Cohen emphasized the mutually beneficial relationship between Brownsville and SpaceX, stating it is a reciprocal relationship. Texas has very favorable regulations and policies for companies like SpaceX. After SpaceX arrived, the Texas government offered numerous incentives, including a 10-year property tax reduction in exchange for building the spaceport. They also provided SpaceX with $15 million to develop infrastructure. When federal agencies like the FAA hinder SpaceX's missions, the Texas government has actively supported the company. They have worked to expedite the process, such as closing roads and beaches during testing or launches. In 2022, when SpaceX faced an FAA investigation, Texas officials quickly took various actions to retain SpaceX, fully aware that losing the company would be a significant loss for the state. They committed to supporting SpaceX and creating the best environment for the company's growth with the long-term goal of making Boca Chica the official headquarters of SpaceX. This is the entire content of today's video. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next videos.